attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. What's up, everyone? It's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real underscore O Barber brand and at Nation of Podcation on Instagram and TikTok. Hip hop icon and legend Juvenile talks about the infamous cash money universal 30 million dollar deal and how birdman still makes 20 to 30 million dollars a year off of the masters now as we all know cash money started in the early 90s with birdman and slim and they took a bunch of local artists from new orleans and made them into household names we're talking about lil wayne juvenile turk bg all these guys manny fresh all of these guys household names from that small town of New Orleans, all in that same little area, uptown, as they call it. And we're all privy to a 1998 Cash Money record signed that infamous $30 million deal with Universal, where they, they got 85% of their revenues, they got 50% of the marketing, and they owned all their masters. So shout out to Birdman and Slim for putting that deal together. That was one of those Master P deals, and it was even better than Master P's deal, because Master P got the 80-20 deal, they got the 85-15 deal. So shout out to Birdman and Slim for recognizing their talent because they did not need to sign with a major label. They were doing very well on the independent scene where they had already had gold albums that had already made over half a million dollars a piece in revenue. So they were doing just fine doing it on their own. So they didn't take one of these sucker deals where you get all this money up front, you claim to be a label head and you don't own any of your masters. So they had the business side of it right somewhat early on. Now in this clip, Juvenile was gonna talk about how they got the deal, what it meant for them, them. Did they break him off any money when they got that big $30 million deal? So let's take a look at this clip from Juvenile as he breaks down the cash money universal $30 million deal. Let's tune in. Really? You know how long it took us to get that deal? Though? And I, it, took us, it took us a minute to get that deal because we kept going back up. To, we went to, we was going back on the fourth of New York for almost a year, maybe a year and a half. And we, Slim and Slim and Bird, they weren't budging. You know, we wasn't budging on nothing. And I kept saying, man, we really don't need the deal from them if we're going to do these type, type of numbers. All right, so that's what I was talking about a little bit earlier where they was doing gold albums on their own. So just think about back in the day, a gold album was 500,000 units sold. Now, if you think about that, 500,000 albums times $10 an album, that gives you what, $5 million? So they were already making millions of dollars on the independent level. They didn't need to go to a big label unless they wanted to break and become a national record label and have that national and global exposure, which is what the plan was. They wanted to get out of the regional base, the Southern base, because that's where they were in. They were in, they were in the southern part of the United States. We're talking about Texas. We're talking Louisiana. We're talking Florida. We're talking Alabama, Mississippi. All of that down there was very privy to cash money. And the Universal deal was going to make them a national and a global record label. So let's finish listening to Juvie as he continues. So uh, it was kind of like uh, one of them situations where we still feel like they got too much. I mean, they broke some bread with me. I can't lie about that. But keep in mind, when we got that deal, we were all learning the music industry. Like me, like, still didn't know the business, none of us. So a lot of things, a lot of things took place in that era that they didn't understand it. I didn't understand. It. And that, 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 that led to, one thing led to another. Okay, so we know what that was kind of leaning towards because there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of innuendo, a lot of rumors about how Birdman would rob his artists, how he didn't have the right deals. Now, like he said, keep in mind, Birdman was 25 years old when he signed this deal. It wasn't like he was a... He went to school to be a major a record executive or nothing like that. He's a street dude just learning from what he knew. So yes, at the beginning, there was some money issues, but from everything that we've heard now and from Birdman himself, he cleared up all of the money issues. He paid Wayne back, he paid Turk back, he paid Juvenile back. It looks like he gave BG a bag, he paid Manny Fresh back. Everybody that he originally did business with that was around for that $30 million universal deal, it looks like he paid them back and got back on good terms with them. Now. The smart thing that Cash Money did was to continue to own the Masters. I can't imagine how much a Master for that Juvenile 400 Degrees is worth, or the Lil Wayne, The Block Is Hot, or the Carter Three, or any of BG's albums. All those Masters probably got to be upwards in uh, $2 billion once they do a sale on that, because one day Cash Money might decide to get out of the game, and then they can sell those Masters to someone who's interested in buying it, a movie company or something like that, so they can use the rights to that music whenever they want to. And I 
I'm sure that somebody would buy it and they would get a really high offer, upwards of one to two million. I mean, you've got Drake's first couple albums on there. You've got all the Carters on there, all the Juvie's albums on there. They even got an album with Tina Marie. So shout out to Cash Money and Birdman for making a wise business decision. We see a lot of faulty business moves today in hip hop and a lot of the rappers become broke after showing off and spending all this money. They end up broke after the second album. So shout out to them for seeing the vision, having the vision and continuing through with it. Nation, what do you think about Juvenile's comments on Birdman making 20 to 30 million on the masters? What do you think about Cash Money Records as a whole? Do you think they are the greatest record label of all time? Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like like and subscribe button on your way out. O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.